chilies are a fabulous ingredient, and one of my absolute favourites is the chipotle. Chipotles begin life as a green jalapeno pepper. The process of drying and smoking lends an intense smoky flavour to balance their spicy heat. Dried chipotles can be brought as a paste, powder or whole, which is how I'll be using them in my big, bold lunch. Chilies come in all shapes and sizes and heats and are used throughout the world. But if there's one cuisine that has really turned cooking them into an art form, it's Mexican. They're experts at building layer upon layer flavoured with delicious chilies and spices. So, for my ultimate big and bold lunch, spicy Mexican soup. It's hearty, delicious, robust, but served with some tortillas and a wonderful salsa. It's almost like a complete meal in one. Starting with some finely chopped red onions for my soup. Let's get some heat going early. These are chipotle, so they're smoky, rich. They don't come with any warning signal, and these are seriously hot. So be adventurous, but beware. A nice teaspoon of toasted cumin, oregano, dried. Now start frying off the spices, the heat. You'll see the chilies start swelling up. Delicious. Garlic. Be quite generous on the oil because that helps to blow out the chili. Right now, those onions and garlic are on fire. We're going to balance the sort of heat from the chipotle with sugar. Turn up the heat and really start caramelizing that sugar and the chili. Gives off the most amazing aroma. Next, fry up a tablespoon of tomato puree. Add a can of chopped tomatoes, cooked kidney beans, and vegetable or chicken stock to cover. There's something quite exciting about big and bold flavors, because in the restaurants, you have to be somewhat controlled. You can't go crazy. So cooking these kind of dishes at home gives me that kind of release. Chilies, particularly when they're dried, continue to swell and release their heat as they're cooked. So the longer you cook your dish, the hotter it will be. Mm. But it's not as powerful as it needs to be yet. And every five, six, seven, eight minutes, that's just going to get stronger, hotter and more delicious. Bring that up to the ball and cook that out for 15 minutes. Whilst I allow the chilli heat to infuse, I'm going to crack on with quick, crunchy tortilla chips and a fabulously fresh and spicy tomato salsa, known in Mexico as pico de gallo. Start by finely dicing three ripe tomatoes, one or two deceded fresh jalapeno peppers, and half a red onion. Then chop a good handful of fresh coriander, add the juice from two limes, salt and pepper, and a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. For the tortilla chips, rub a little olive oil onto six large shop-bought wheat wraps. Sprinkle with smoked paprika and gently massage in. Cut each wrap into triangles and spread them onto a baking tray. Bake for three to four minutes in a preheated oven at 180 degrees until golden brown and leave to cool. To complete my Mexican lunch, I need to finish my deliciously fragrant spicy soup. Mm. The spice is there. It is absolutely spot on. Now for the cooling down process. The Mexicans are brilliant at building layer upon layer of flavor with delicious chilies and spices. But they're also experts at tempering their dishes with cooling ingredients like avocado, sour cream, and cheese. That's why you can take that amount of chili. You've got that spoon of richness, spice, all of a sudden, the avocados, almost like a little fire blanket over those chilies. To further counter the chili heat, Mexicans use a rich, tangy, crumbly cheese, but I'm sprinkling on Lancashire, which is a great British substitute. And last but not least, cooling fresh coriander. One delicious, spicy Mexican soup. Serve that with your tortilla chips and your pico de gallo salsa. A phenomenal blend of textures and layers and spice and creaminess. Big, bold and delicious. Spicy Mexican eggs. This is a very classic Mexican-style brunch dish. Bold, kick-ass flavors. 
Slice the chilli. Seeds in. Garlic sliced, nice and thinly. Tablespoon of olive oil. I'm a big fan of brunches. And if you get it right, a great brunch can see you right through to dinner. Now, to start the sort of spicy, fragrant tomato sauce, get your cumin in there. Garlic, chilli, roasted cumin, red onions. Already sounds Mexican. Once that starts getting really nice and crispy, in with your tomatoes. Never be embarrassed using good canned tomatoes. I do it all the time, cooking at home. Now, by reducing that, you sort of come down to a delicious paste. Leave that to simmer. Next, canned beans called black beans. These are authentically Mexican, but cannellini beans or chickpeas will work just fine. Just rinse them with a little bit of water. That is beautiful. Turn off the gas and just let it absorb. Leaving the dense beans to luxuriate in the spicy tomato sauce will allow them to soften and soak up all the flavour. Next, oil and season an oven-proof dish for my spicy egg brunch to bake in. And just get some of that oil round the outside. Take your corn tortillas, slice them in half, and then just stick them to the side. These are a staple in Mexico. Take one and place that in the center. Get your mix and place that on top of the tortilla. Spread that out nice and smoothly. Lift up those little flaps. I want that crisp shell on the outside. Now, your eggs and cheese. Get the base of the egg and just make a little hole in there and then crack the egg into there. Again, use a little point. Put your egg in there. One, two, three, four, five, and one in the middle. Gently crack and get the egg to sit inside, almost like it's a little dugout. And then one for the center. Get a really nice, rich, delicious, strong Montgomery cheddar. I want to grate the tortilla shell as well, so get generous with it on the top. I'm going to season that with these little babies, little chili flakes. They're my little secret weapon, and they're going to spice up that egg. Touch of salt, a touch of pepper. Sit that in the oven to bake for eight to ten minutes at 180. Smells incredible. Just a little bit of coriander to finish it off. And that, for me, is what brunch is all about. Let's go. A fantastic fiery brunch to get your party started. Spicy Mexican eggs in a crispy tortilla shell.